Colin with Max Tie Downs to introduce our new short chainsaw scabbard. The chainsaw scabbard for us is becoming quite a popular part, particularly after a windstorm, spring and fall cleanup, hunting season, camping, etc. This has always been our sole offering in the way of a chainsaw scabbard, and we've come to realize that in many of the smaller vehicles, smaller saws are being hauled. Therefore, we've come up recently with a short version of the same product, realizing that regardless of the make of the saw, chances are in a small vehicle like this, you're hauling more or less a trim saw or a cleanup saw. Take a look at how I've got this one mounted in here with the use of our tube clamps here, mounting it firmly to this roll cage bar on the front side. Now this isn't exactly ideal for all applications, Four passengers can still sit in this car. I had some other reasons why I mounted it here for a recent trip, but there's a lot of freedom in where this product can be mounted. Let's check out some other ideas. I have my fire extinguisher mounted on the driver's side of this UTV for good reason. That does, however, however leave the passenger side available. So I think a great alternate location for this would be something like this. Now keep in mind, when you're mounting your saw, Great idea to keep it inside the confines, the envelope uh, of the width of the car so you don't swipe it off on the first tree that you pass by. I like this location because it enables me to remove and replace the saw with my feet on the ground and not have to climb up on top. It could easily be incorporated into the roof rack, but you might have other luggage and I don't want to climb up on the car every time I need to get the saw in and out, particularly if I'm doing a lot of clearing on a trail. I want to be able to keep my feet on the ground, so this would be a great spot. I saw a customer recently install it vertically off his rear bumper, something like that. Now I probably wouldn't choose to do that, but it sure is a handy location. So with the use of our tube clamps off the back side of the scabbard, it offers up a lot of options on where you choose to mount the scabbard. Other ideas, other vehicle types, this scabbard really fits a lot of places greatly. Um, in this particular rock crawler application, we've got very, very limited cargo space. In looking around the available options here, I really like this right-hand horizontal tube that's part of the roll cage because it allows me to mount the saw on an angle, keep it inside the envelope of the vehicle, easy access right out the back or off to the side, and most importantly, I can still get in and out of my ARV refrigerator. This would be a great choice to mount it here. If you are making use of our tube clamps, please note, our clamps are made in eighth inch increments for domestic size tubing. If you've got a, pri a proprietary shape, like a factory Polaris, for instance, that's not even round, please take note of careful measurements there. Get yourself an inexpensive pair of calipers and measure that tube diameter before ordering your clamps. They fit really well, but they're all domestic sizes. In the case of the Polaris we showed you earlier, that's an aftermarket cage from Extreme Performance that's all chromoly domestic tube. Same with this cage on the rock crawler, domestic tube sizes. So that's really the only precaution if you plan on using the bar clamps to secure your scabbard. And again, there are nice return flanges both left and right. So if you don't have an application where you're mounting it to tubing, don't fear, it will mount to a flat surface beautifully just with the extruded flanges that are present here. For more information, 800-666-1586 or give us a call. We staff the phone lines daily. Website is maxtiedowns.com. And again, that number 800-666-1586.